let's look at this question where you've got a parabola and on this axis we want to draw the gradient function okay so here we don't know what's the equation of this parabola but uh, we know that uh, the gradient uh, at this point you have the minimum so this is the turning point okay so somewhere between 0 and 1 so this is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 so this is seems to be negative 3 and this is zero uh, this is 1 and this is 2 so the graph is this parabola is uh, the x intercepts are negative 3 and plus 2 and this is your turning point okay, or this is your minimum at the turning point if you learn calculus you should be knowing the gradient at this point is 0 or you can see your dy by dx is equal to 0 so let's plot so this is your x-axis and this is y is equal to uh, f dash x or f dy by dx so this is your gradient graph of your gradient function so first always look at the turning point or the critical point at at zero at negative 0 0.5 at negative 0 0.5 your gradient is zero so at negative 0 0.5 so let me plot this point this is with the red so between zero and negative one you have the minimum so I'll say okay at when x is zero point negative zero point four you have this the gradient is on y axis we are plotting the gradient the gradient is zero if you go to the right of zero point four you have suppose you go, draw a tangent at this line at this point the gradient is positive the gradient is more positive it keeps the gradient keeps increasing so at this point the gradient is greater than this point suppose if you take a gradient that at this line at this point the gradient is more positive so from this at this point it's positive it's zero and from here it's becoming positive and more positive and so on so let's plot those points so it is when you go to the right of z negative 0 0.5 it is positive okay then it's going to be more positive okay then more positive keeps the gradient keeps increasing as you move to the right of uh, negative 0 0.5 and if you go to the left of if you go to the left of mm, negative 0 0.5 your gradient is going to be negative yeah at this point it's more negative at this point it's more negative so from this point it becomes negative and more negative so let's plot that uh, with a blue color so this is a negative at this point it's negative to the left it's negative more negative more negative and more negative and so on okay so this is the and let us plot these point let us join these points by a straight line okay so this is this is a graph of the gradient function okay so it's a straight line and it does make sense okay now let us at this point you have your gradient zero and to the right of this point you have a positive gradient and to the left you have negative gradient so let us make sense of this so this we as we know the x-intercepts as we know the x-intercept let's make a guess so your graph the equation of the graph can be y is equal to x as it's minus 3 it's x plus 3 times x this is 1 2 x uh, minus x minus 2 okay if you have learned little of algebra you should be knowing that if you know the x-intercept this can be the I'm not exact but yeah let's make an assumption so this when you expand this this is equal to x squared plus uh, this is 3x minus 2x which is plus x minus 6 okay so this is your function so let's find dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 1 okay and it does make sense the gradient looks to be great uh, 2 and the y-intercept is not exact but that, that, that doesn't matter that's that was not the focus so when you draw the gradient the graph of the gradient function it is a line that's what I wanted to say this is nothing but the equation of a line okay so in other words when you have a parabola 
the gradient function would be a straight line.